Looks like that's all the evidence we need. Let's continue on to the next chapter. So we're going to begin this chapter by talking about a bit of an incident that happened back around March. Now, Jacksepticeye Clips released a video um, titled, This Didn't Age Well. Now, this was a video where back in 2019, Jack literally mentioned basically talking to YouTube about removing the dislike button. So, prior to this, there were certain amount of errors that people tried to blame Jack for that entire situation. And I, I'm not gonna hold you, I'm glad it kind of died down because honestly, people can be sensible and notice what's actually going on. YouTube tried to start pointing fingers as soon as they made that huge update because they were trying their best to not put the blame on everyone else. Now, as a result of this, um, you're probably wondering why, why I'm bringing this up and bringing this up into the topic. Well, this is going to be the prime example of why <sighs> this bitch is literally probably by far taking her vendetta out on people <laughs> and using and abusing her power and literally bringing real life events into the YouTube platform. Now, YouTubers have done it, but the fact that this girl is literally bringing it up here, oh sorry, not girl, woman is bringing it up here, just shows <laughs> the amount of fucking childish behavior is on that fucking board. But let's not get into that. Let's go into the next part. So we're going to literally spice up the situation that happened three days ago up until now. So Corey Kenshin mentions in the video titled YouTube racism and favoritism. Now in this video, he talks about the racist things that, and most importantly, the favoritism things that goes on on the platform itself. Okay, let's do that and let's have a bit of a discussion about that. So as soon as this video goes out, there was a bit part of the video where he mentions Markiplier and how favoritism favorites him and he never gets age restrictions. Okay, so what happens is, instead of YouTube literally deciding, hey, let's age restrict Markiplier at first, Let's take off the age restriction off Corey's video. And then a few, like I would say a few days later, it's back on age restriction and so is Mark Potter's video. So not only are they playing games and don't even justify their own mistakes, but as soon as they literally decide to make these decisions, they now want to literally be equal about it. It should have been like that from the dead beginning. So, this was a genius thing that Mark Blair decided to do. And Mark Blair decided to say, hey, let's test this out, shall we? He made a video called Try Not To Get Age Restricted. And it was him literally playing a porn video and Lixian editing the best he could. So, prior to this video, and this is the interesting part, YouTube got pissed and decided, hey, let's cut him off of the game zone. Let's cut him off without his fans or him knowing. And now he decided to actually upload the video up there. But basically, to sum up this part, basically, this bitch has a fucking vendetta and decided that, hey, let's take my finger out on certain damage because it's their fault for calling me out on my mistakes that I directed towards the YouTube team and the creators themselves. <laughs> Bitch, 
I had told you twice, and I know you watch my videos. Stop fucking playing. I have said this to you twice. This will not fucking work. And I'm sorry to say this, but you are acting just how, because of a positive reputation, you're acting just like fucking Pokemon. And I'm no disrespect to her. Because she does what she wants to do. That's her own lane. I don't give a fuck what she does. But when it comes to trying to co- protect a positive reputation for the kids, you immediately become petty towards the adults because you literally don't want to be called out for your fucking mistakes. Now, I warned you. And now, everybody has seen your bullshit. I have no words to say in this. I have no reason to say anything in this. So I will take this as my final words, and I'll say this again. You have one chance to not screw this up. And I'm talking directly to you, Susan. If you fucking bring racism and equality onto this fucking platform and use it in a negative way, guaranteeing goddamn to you, this will lead you to an even darker path than before. I promise you. So, choose wisely. Susan, choose wisely. For those of you that were seating to the outro, I really appreciate y'all just skip towards the outro um this is a video directly for my fans um and my supporters uh this particular part of the video i wanted to talk to y'all about this so last uh i think maybe a month or so ago i made a uh youtube is corrupt betrayal video and um a lot of my supporters maybe are well unaware of why um i suddenly decided to make this video um the video literally explains everything, so I really hope you guys understand the current situation. But if you guys did not see that, I will link that in the description. Uh, so hopefully you guys will see that video. Um, and then you guys can come back here, and then everything will make sense to y'all. But um, anyways, um, hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys did, make sure to leave a like, and please share out. Um, because YouTube is really, really getting to a wave of corruption, and I want to make, sh- want to make sure that people speak out on this. So, please make sure to leave a like, give any good feedback, no matter what the consequences are. Please make sure to just give any feedback, and most importantly, share this out to your friends, the people around you, and let them know about this. Anyways, that's been it, guys. Later. Mm-hmm.